Hey guys, what's up? I decided I'm gonna start snowboarding. So for today, I have for you a haul of all the snowboarding gear that I got. Um, it's from Evo, REI, uh, Zoomies, Owls. Did I get anything from Owls? I did get something from Owls. Um, yes, I think that's about it. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I did actually forget. I got something from Directive 2, which is like a local shop here. Um, but I'll try and find a link for these somewhere else too, possibly, and put and the links for everything will be down in the description. So these are Volcom Hawk Socks uh, Women's. I got the size small. And yeah, they're super soft, vegan, no wool in here. And they definitely feel like there is wool though, but they feel like they're gonna be super warm. They're like medium cushion. The next thing I got are some Dekine gloves and glove liners. I got these in a women's extra small, both the liners and the gloves. Um, so the liners are super thin. I like how they all have like these little clips on there so I can clip them all together and don't have to worry about losing them. Um, but yeah, these are like super lightweight glove liners and they have the little like touch pads on the pointer and the thumb. Um, yeah. And then the gloves have a strap there around the wrist and then one here too and then it has the strap to put around your arms so you can take them off and don't have to worry about losing them on the mountain so yeah um these were on sale at owls they're doing like 60 percent off their gloves right now so i'll link those down below in the description but i got both of these for like 25 dollars or something so great deal i will link them in the description the next thing I got are the Smith Squad goggles. I got them in just like the regular size. Um, they come with a little bag, nighttime goggles, and then also the regular goggles lens, or nighttime, nighttime lens, and then the regular lens. Um, I haven't tried to replace the lens yet, but this just pops off. The part, part top pops off really easily. Um, and then pops back in the bottom part not so easy um we'll deal with that when i get there but i forgot what color this is in but yeah those are my goggles evo has these for 66 dollars right now so great steal i think they're normally 120 at least so yep linked in the description Next thing I got is a Perret. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, helmet. It has little audio pockets for your headphones. They like Velcro out, slip your headphone in there. Um, there's also a little hole for wired headphones right there. Um, it has the MIPS technology. Not really sure what that means. It just is supposed to reduce brain damage if you hit your head, so that's cool. Um, I got this in a women's medium. And yes, that's all I have to say about the helmet. Um, it came from, I got it from REI. It was on sale for, I wanna say $79. So, yep, linked in the description. Next thing. I want to show you are these impact pants shorts i didn't buy these my boyfriend bought them for me so i don't know where he got them or how much they were but i can try and find them somewhere and link them down in the description but it has the nice butt padding under butt padding hip padding and uh these are an extra small i'm five two about like 100 like 12 pounds uh these fit really nicely Yep. Uh, next is a base layer. This is from Columbia. This was actually purchased at Sierra Trading Post. Um, I'll see if I can find it on like 
that country or something that's more a little a little bit more reliable I'll link it in the description but it has this like uh warming technology thing that's supposed to keep you really warm but it's like super lightweight i'm gonna try this on for you guys so give me a second all right, so here we go, having it on. It has a little like thumb holes. It can zip like down, zip all the way up. Um, that's a little choky. Don't know if I would zip it up that high, but it's like comfortable around like this area. Um, and it's like super freaking lightweight, but really warm. So this is my top base layer. And then for my bottom base layer, I got these Evo like leggings basically. Um, I'm not going to try them on for you guys because they're like super see-through. I don't know if you can tell, um, <laughs> but these were like $8 at Evo right now and they're pretty warm. I think they could be a little bit more stretchy. They're a little stiff. I was expecting them to be slightly more stretchy, but they feel pretty warm. Um, so that's fine. They are low rise, but so are my pants, my snowboarding pants. So that's fine. But yes, these are the base layers I got. And then these pants, I did purchase them used. Um, I found them on Facebook Marketplace. Someone had only used them like three times before like COVID and then they don't fit them anymore. So I snagged these up. These are the Burton Gloria pants in a size extra small short. I'm so glad I got the short because these are like the right length for me. Anything longer would have been way too long. Um, but I will link the newest version of the Gloria's in the description below. Um, these are amazing. They're low rise. They have like lots of pockets and stuff. I'm gonna put them on, hang on, give me a second. All right, so here are the pants on. Um, they are very low rise. Um, brings me back to like middle school, high school, the like Hollister Cali flare pants. Um, these are them in like snowboarding pants but they feel pretty warm. I don't know if they are insulated. I know the newer ones, this line, this year's line are, um, these are like two years old, so I'm not sure. But they have a zipper pocket here on the side and then a Velcro pocket there too, and that's on both sides. And then they have a pocket here with the zipper as well. They're pretty deep. Uh, and then it has the two buttons it's on the side and there's also a little velcro right here to adjust the waist um which i have mine adjusted slightly it bunches a little bit but like it's fine uh, <laughs> and then they also have little zippers here so you can make them more flare or not and gaiters and yeah that's the pant i'm gonna do a little spin around and then bring you back up so here we go Now we're pointing right back at me. Um, so yeah, those are my snowboarding pants. Next thing I wanna show you, I did get it last year, but they do still have it. Um, they do still have it. It's different colors this season, but the, everything else is the exact same on the coat from what I can tell. Um, and that is the North Face Eco Ball Thermal Tri Climate Yada Yada Snow. So this is what it looks like. Um, shell, you have a helmet hood, there's a eco down alternative, like recycled fiber, vegan down jacket on the inside as the liner, it comes detached. So you can just wear that. Um, this thing's super warm. I, this has become like my everyday coat. I don't always wear the shell unless it's like snowing outside, but I always wear this liner as like my everyday coat now. So I got a small, so I'd be able to like, I have plenty of room to like layer underneath it. Um, so on the inside, we have a pocket here. There's a pocket here. The liner also has two side pockets. Um, I'm not gonna unzip that. Oh, I guess I can unzip that. So you have side pockets here. And then inside here, we have a goggle pocket and the little belt thing to keep the snow out, whatever that's called. And then you have your armpit vents. I also forgot to say there's thigh vents on these pants too. Um, and then, is there another pocket? No, I think that was it. 
Unzipped up, we have a chest pocket here that was unzipped. We have a sleeve pocket with glove wipe and the Velcro sleeves. Um, I like the way that this liner fits in here too. It's like snaps that snap onto the sleeves and then there's also one that snaps onto the top where like the little hook is to hang it up on your coat rack. Um, and then it zips up, it has like zippers that like zip up too. So yes, this is my jacket. Super like it, it's really warm. Um, highly recommend this jacket. So yes, I'm gonna take this off right now though cause it's really fucking hot in here. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you are my snow boots. These are the 32 Shifty uh, Boa, women's size seven. I normally wear a size six, I had to size up a whole size. Um, I ordered these from REI in a size six. They were way too small. Went to back country because REI was completely sold out of them. Um, tried on the size six and a half, didn't fit. I did end up finding the size seven at Zoomies. Um, Evo also does have them, I think, online, but I wanted to go snowboarding this weekend and didn't have time to get them shipped to me and they did not have them in the Salt Lake City store. So yes, I went on a crazy adventure trying to exchange these for a larger size. So keep that in mind if you do get these, definitely size up. Um, there literally was no room for my toes in the size six or the six and a half, um, which is really weird for me because I'm a pretty true size six. Sometimes I'll be like a five and a half. So it's really weird that I had to size up to a seven, but yes. <clears throat> so these have the removable liner. It's like really Velcroed in there really toughly and I have not been able to get it out. Um, but it does come out and it also has like heat technology. Um, you can go get it fitted where they put like a heat thing in there and put your foot in and it'll like mold to your foot. Um, and then it has a little drawstring there, neat. And then the boa here, kind of wish that it did have like the two boas. So this sub tightened separately from the top part, but it is what it is. Um, they're really freaking comfy. These were a hundred and $60, I think, at REI and Zoomies. And I think they're around that price at uh, Evo too. Backcountry has them for 170. Um, but Backcountry is also almost sold out. So yes, I will link these down below, probably to Evo, um, cause they have the most in stock. All right, now drum roll. The moment you've all been waiting for, my snowboard and bindings, which are already attached to my snowboard, so I'm gonna do them together. Um, so yeah, here we go, let me grab it. All right, so this is my snowboard. Uh, let's talk about the bindings first. These are, let me open them up so you can see them better. All right, so these bindings are the Nitro Rhythm. Um, they're like black and gold. They are a size small, which fits like I think three and a half to seven women's. In case I didn't mention all this stuff is women's besides like the helmet and goggles or unisex. This is all women specific wear. I'm tiny and I learned my lesson a long time ago to buy stuff that's meant for women because it functions a lot better. Um, <laughs> so yes, we got these bindings. They have adjustments on both sides for the straps. The toe strap can be worn on top or also in front of the shoe. And then there's the back part adjustment. Um, I'm going to show you how this works because I was confused for a while. It pops out and then you twist it and then you'll be able to like move this up and down once it's loosened enough. Um, I was staring at that for a long time trying to figure out how that worked. Yeah. And then also the footbed is adjustable. It slides in and out. Um, there's a little, can you see that? There's a little screw in here, you loosen it, you can move this out. If you loosen it all the way, then you can open it up to where the disc is to attach it to your snowboard. Um, it was pretty easy. I was able to do it all by myself. Right now I got my bindings on, uh, I think this was positive 15, negative six. I'm not sure about this stance. I might widen it when I ride my skateboard. I feel like I'm maybe more towards like a positive 30 on the front foot. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm going to go play around with it today and see how I like the stance and see if I need to change it before we go hit the mountain. But yes, so that's the binding. Uh, they were, 
I want to say like 120 I could be totally wrong on that price I got them at Evo though so I will link those down below um yeah that they're I think a medium flex medium more towards the stiffer side which uh this board's a stiff flex so it was the most cost effective <laughs> binding I could find women's that had a relatively similar flex to the board. So that's why I went with these. Um, they seem pretty nice so far. So yeah, so my board is the Ember Niche. Um, it's made with sustainable materials. It has plant-based inks. It's zero waste, um, all the good things that uh, makes me happy. It's also made in Salt Lake City, so it's locally made. And yeah, it's just like so pretty. It has these like little like star effect and then these like gold geometric lines throughout it. Um, yeah. And then where is it? Somewhere it says sustainably made. I don't remember. It might be under the binding actually, but yeah, Niche Ember. This is the 145 centimeter, by the way. Um, Salt Lake City, Utah. So again, I'm 5'2", 112 pounds. Um, the size chart wasn't super great for this board, so hopefully I got the right size. Um, I put it on with the boots and everything this morning, was able to like jump around inside, so I think I should be fine. <laughs> um, it's just so pretty. I love like the black and gold that totally wasn't my original intentions i was gonna go for more like green earthy tones but um i saw this board and read the description and it says that it's supposed to be like really good on like ice and like really good at carving and really stable and uh, just sounded like a really good board for a beginner even though i think it's an intermediate board not a beginner board but um yeah i was like yeah that's that description sold me that's the board i want so this is what I got. It is $408 at REI right now, I think. So yeah, I will link that down below. All right, so yeah, that is my haul of my snowboarding gear that I got for this year. Um, obviously right now is the best time to buy snowboarding gear because it's all super cheap as long as you can find the size that you need. Um, I definitely had some struggles there finding sizes. Um, especially with the boots and the socks for some reason. Um, it was really hard to find like boots and socks for small feet right now. Um, and then also finding things that like kind of matched ish. <laughs> um, but yeah, so also, like I said, I bought these pants used. Um, I'll link gear trade down below too. If you want to check that out for used gear, uh, that's a great option to buy from someone else that has lightly used gear. Maybe they bought it last season, no longer fits them. And now it can be yours for a lot cheaper price. I was able to get these for $80 and they're normally 180, I think. So $100 off for lightly used pants. There's literally no flaws on these pants. So, and they're super cute and comfortable. And I love this color. So, um, yes. Also, if you want to see a review of any of this gear, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I will definitely do that. Um, if you also want to follow along and see my journey of learning to snowboard, I know it's like towards the end of the season, but we just had a massive like snowstorm, like two this week. So there's there was 15 inches, new inches up at our Beaver Mountain, uh, which is this re resort near me. Um, over the weekend and then it just snowed again all day yesterday and today. So there's probably a lot more snow again. <laughs> so we're probably looking at about like 30 new inches of snow from this past week. So definitely going to be able to go out at least a few times for the rest of the season. So yeah, if you want to see that whole adventure, subscribe. And yeah, I think I'm going to go do a little blooper of playing with my board outside in the backyard. So if you wanna see that, stay tuned. Otherwise, I love you guys, peace. All right, come on, let's go.
is real A slippery slope, it's not